What's up guys, Brandon. We're gonna talk about the pitot static system real quick. Very simple system, but it's hard to kind of wrap your mind around again because it's kind of hidden behind the instrument panel in the aircraft system and works off of air pressure and a little confusing at start at the start of things to kind of uh, realize how this air pressure affects these instruments and stuff. So first off, there's three instruments in the pitot static system. You have your altimeter, you have your vertical speed indicator, and you have your airspeed indicator, okay? Uh, everything works off of air pressure. The pitot tube, I have a little uh, pitot tube right here. So as air goes into your pitot tube, the faster you go, that's gonna be more air pressure to your airspeed indicator and cause an increased airspeed. So watch this, like that. Now this is an old airspeed indicator, so don't go to your airplane and try blowing on it because that will damage your airspeed indicator and cause that to be off. That's going to be a $350 fix, so don't, I suggest don't go do that. So, Anyway, so I'd say 90% of uh, the airspeed indicator's uh, information comes from the pitot tube. Okay, And then we have your altimeter, which gets 100% of its information from your static port. And the same with your vertical speed indicator. It gets 100% of its information from the static port, okay? And then also, like I said, the airspeed indicator gets about 90% of its information from the pitot tube and then about another 10% from the static port. So I have this little syringe right here. It's connected in the series, so I can show you guys. I have the static port and it's connected in series to all three instruments okay so what i'm going to do is just move the syringe around a little bit and you'll see the changes in the gauges see that so that's all it is is just air pressure and the static port is typically on the you know our cestas are on the uh the pilot's left side in front of the door and in between the uh firewall and your and your door okay so that's all it does it just works off air pressure very simple if your static port becomes clogged, maybe you get some wax, dirt, bug, something like that, then your altimeter is going to fail. It won't work at all. Same thing with your vertical speed indicator. It won't work at all. Your airspeed indicator will still work. It'll just be erratic. So how does the airspeed indicator use uh, the static pressure to make it work? So first off, like I said, 90% of its information is coming from the pitot tube, about another 10% is coming from your static port. So all the static port does is it creates resistance against the backside of that needle and steadies your needle. So it gives you a good, accurate airspeed. If we didn't have that, then our airspeed indicator would be going and jumping all over the place. And, and so we want real steady and accurate airspeed ratings all the time. So that's how that works and how that affects the uh, airspeed indicator. Um, Let's see what else. So if you, you know you clog up your uh, pitot tube, maybe you leave the the cover on and you take off. Trust me, that's happened. Um, I even know of some friends that uh, had some pretty ornate uh, pitot tube covers, and they still lacked on the uh, uh, pre-flight checklist and left that on when airborne. I personally have had a student. Uh, his Cessna 150 was sitting out here on the ramp for a number of months. Never had a pitot tube cover on it. And when we start accelerating down the runway, it got to the point where I'm like, all right, we should be rotating, we should be flying, but the airspeed's still reading zero. So let's abort the takeoff, taxi back, and, and there was a lot of sand and dirt and bugs and everything inside the pitot tube that we had to kind of dig out. So um, now the older airplanes, so like our Piper Cub, our Luscom, our Stearman, our Air Coop, uh, a lot of the older planes that we own does that we don't have a static port a designated static port in the side of the airplane and how these instruments are mounted they're just mounted to the instrument panel with a hole in the back of the instrument and it works just fine never had a problem at all so um, anyway hope this video helps you guys out help better understand the uh, static system or the pitot static system so appreciate it uh, don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and check out my youtube channel and subscribe appreciate it